Good evening and welcome back to Halcyon 6. I'm Milia Barandis. We have some pirates approaching on our doorstep here, right to the approach here. Uh, we're going to pause there. We're going to go take care of these. These guys are not even worth our time. Three shivs. I mean, come on. Get get with the program. We are we are more than capable of dealing with that. All right, sending the fleet. Again, we're not even going to bother repairing ourselves in this one because he doesn't have very much damage. And he can cauterize the rest of that up if we get lucky here. And which we will. I think we will because this is not going to be a battle here. Launch anyways. Why do they even bother? I don't know. We're taking them offline immediately. And all three. Oh, this guy didn't go. All right, well, that's fine. No, they're all going to go after him. Why? I don't know, but they're doing it. All right, so first of all, take care of this guy. You guys, sure you don't want to run away? Last chance. No one's going to think less of you except us. We won't tell anybody, except everyone. Uh, cauterize. Nope, we're gonna speed it up here first. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna evade all that stuff now. And he's not so he's not so good at evading, apparently. All right, so what do we want to do here? Let's do a little bit of a hull breach on... Oh, no, what we can do is sensors offline attack on this guy. Do the uh, harass. Exploit that sensors offline, take the guy out. And then there was one. Sorry, buddy. Oh, man, it sucks to be you. I'm sorry, buddy. Really? You did ask for this, though. You came, you came to us. We didn't come to you. Just remember that. Eh, too bad I can't pass. I would love to pass. Let him cauterize one more time here and then bring it back up next turn here. Anyhow, let's just uh, give him a little harassment. Yep. That was a uh, miscalculation on your part. Sorry, guys. All right, so. 42 fuel. We can go anywhere we want to go. Anywhere we can go, anywhere we need to go. There's these guys over here, which are pretty weak. Oh, there's the cruel up here. Yeah, we should go take care of them before that that place gets lost. Okay, let's uh, bring the sh let's bring the crew back. Um, and distress signal from the Jeminga fuel refinery. Show location way up there too, of course. All right, so let's actually go up here. Um, let's rescue them. Give whatever some stuff they have, and we actually that might be enough materials to save us. Uh, get ourselves the uh, the crew the crew lounge that we're hoping for here. And then, depending on how that battle goes, we might be able to save this one too while we're over there. I don't know. That might be, that might be stretching ourselves thin. But we'll see how that battle goes. Okay. So first things first. Let's send the fleet. And actually, we don't need to need to send ourselves back home because we're we're pretty much where we need to be. We're not 100, percent but we're we're fine. Let's do it. I might regret it, but we're doing it. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Bypassing, uh, we could have stopped the fuel refinery on our way, but that's okay. Captain, our engine overheated while fly. We flew 14 crew were too close and died in the explosion. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. That's the first time that's happened. Our engine overheated. Wow, do we not give ourselves enough rest, maybe? I wonder if that could have been avoided somehow, or is it just a random event? Probably just a random event. Commander, we've attacked a yabbling in the sector with requesting audience. Sure, let's do it. Whoa, when I station, Federation bigwigs never let us get this close to it before. But I suppose I'll be spending a lot more time here now, now that you are the primary contact for the Federation. What, really? What do you mean? Well, following what looks like to be a devastating apocalyptic event within the Federation environs, which surely you've noticed, you are, according to our research, now the ranking Federation officer. What? Congratulations! I'm sure you've done something to earn it. Now, I'm sure you've got some important Federationing to do, but I thought we'd come say hi. How polite of you. You're saying no one in the Federation Command made it out? Uh, er, no. I'm afraid it doesn't look like it. Look, those cruel things really came on quick, didn't they? If we find any refugees, we'll let you know, though. We'll have a great deal with them, too. Great. Anything for our Federation friends, I know we've had our differences. But now that your galactic presence has been reduced, I think we can start having a more even-handed relationship. Speaking of, let's get down to business. Great job finding and securing this precursor alien station in the middle of this gas cloud. Our records suggest that we did many sweeps in this area, at least a hundred gabs before you did. But we did not find anything like this. 
Still, intergalactic regulations say finders keepers, more or less. Let's stop tiptoeing around this. How much do you want for the station? Uh, nope. Come on, with name your price. Dark matter materials, like rare space fauna? Definitely not for sale. Well, I think you're making a prudent choice here. Well, I don't think you're making a prudent choice here. Your ancient superstructures never hold their value. You're looking at the perfect time to sell, my friend. Uh, all right, no thanks. Well, we tried. I hope this whole resisting the oncoming extinction event thing works out for you. All right. Close the abs. Oh, he's yamming it up. All right, so we have a science and a couple of adult bashers. It said that this guy is in cruel office. Okay, this doesn't tell us what type of officer they are, though. Uh, we can't tell. Okay. All right. In any event, um, oh, he starts this time. That usually doesn't happen. All right. Uh, let's try fire at will. Hope this works out. All right. And then next, normally we would probably say hull breach. This doesn't do a lot of damage, actually. Only 93 at max. And uh, base hit is 97%. So that's not even probably worth it. Lately, we've been doing like 80 points with it. Let's do upload virus first, actually. The breached hull will be there. Both sensors offline. Cool. We're a little hit there. With chaos beam. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> kind of a light tickle beam. Let's just change the name to tickle beam. It'll be fine. Uh, all right, bend space time, earn ourselves some extra moves here. All right. Now we can get out in front of him, hopefully. There we go. And let's take care of the sensors offline here first. Oh, man, that's not enough damage. Look at that. These guys are tough. Uh, meanwhile, I think we'll do this. Sabotage, and then we'll take care of the... Ooh, do we want to cauterize? Let's take care of the portal down here. This isn't going to do enough damage, though, but it'll be fine. A little bit. Never hurt. There we go. Oh, but actually, that's pretty good. That was really good. 146? That's, that's better than I thought it would be. Now it's time to cauterize, I think, though. Um, all right, so... This looks like it's all charged up again. This guy is weakened, though. We should probably go after him first, right? Oh, that's a nice attack. And he's got a couple of damage over time, so he might be okay here. Uh, we're going to cauterize, though, on ourselves here. Heal up a little bit. And then uh, after that, let's try a little bit of engines down on this guy, just in case he doesn't die from the status effects here. And then we're going to try to knock both their sensors out. Nice. That worked out very, very nicely. He should be dead after this turn here. Our Acolyte's taking a lot of damage, though. There he goes. Right on, right on cue. All right, so his sensors are down. Let's take care of them with the sensors offline attack here. Harass. Not bad. Uh, do we cauterize one more time here right away? Base time's not working. He's not holding up reach. I think we'll cauterize here first on ourselves. Well, we can evade some of these attacks here soon. Barely a scratch. Oh, buddy, you are in serious... Seriously bad shape here. Okay, we might have to head back home before we can do anything else. Uh, because he's not gonna make it if we don't if we don't head back home first. All right, well we are gonna make ourselves. Oh, he's vulnerable. That's part of the problem here. Uh, we're gonna make ourselves even more vulnerable. Breach the hull. Now we have. Uh... No, actually we lost it just now. That's interesting. All right, let's take advantage of the hull breach while we have it. Okay, 109. I'll try engines down to lower his speed. And let's raise our speed up. Nice. All right, sabotage is going to probably work nicely on this one. And then we have, we do sensors offline one more time. Missed us. That's what we want. And finally, bring it on. Ah, oh, man. All right, let's try this one more time. There we go. Excellent. Good work. All right, now we should be able to earn some materials from the colony here. 
Uh, we've made contact with the materials fleet here. Okay, so... Oh, they don't have anything for us. They don't have anything for us here. I think you continue production. We need to get something. Oh, they do have something. Okay, here, look. They have... Oh, they have 230 materials for us. Plus 15. This is even a better station than the last one was. First of all, transfer it. Now I'm kind of tempted to let them be, though. Let's let them be. We'll come out and def defend them if need be. Then we have this guy over here who's, uh... They got warp fuel there. All right, I'm considering... I would consider evacuating that one because we have warp fuel so close to us, actually. But we can't really take care of this... These guys right now. Um, with the Defiler and the Clipper here. Spike and the Young Clipper. Um... So let's actually head back home. And we'll, uh... Maybe we'll grab, grab the fuel from here. When we want to head back up there. This was just taken over though, so we got a few more days. Of course, where it goes into problems here. Now, we have a couple things we can do though. We can make that officer's lounge finally. Uh, not the star map, the star base map. We should have a room open for it, yes. And officer's lounge is ready to go. Four days for that one, okay, that's fine. Under construction, fantastic. And then we need for a ship Ship construction, we're building an engineering ship, the Knight, which takes 400 dark matter and 60 crew. Shouldn't be an issue. Um, we're good to go. Let's build that ship. It takes three days to build. And uh, let's do it. We won't need the officers just yet. All right, let's, uh, let's place it forward here for a few days until that ship, that, that lounge gets built. All right, there's our Knight class ship. And we're not going to do anything with that just yet. Let it sit. Let it sit. And then we'll have it ready for our engineering officer here in a moment. All right. Show location. And we're ready for a potential new officer candidate. So let's promote an officer. So we're looking at Steve Kanpanda. Kandapa. 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 Steve Kandapa. Got it. Uh, the young Steve Kandapa showed a high degree of engineering promise when he overran his school with a swarm of drones he built in his spare time. Though the drone damages were severe and remained to this day, he couldn't help but draw the gaze of the engineering community with by the totality of the destruction that he had wrought. Fantastic. Engineering officer, welcome aboard. I'm ready to work, Commander. Just point me in the right direction. Fantastic. I got a direction for you right here. Let's go with a ship management. Sign an officer. Steve Kandapa. Welcome. All right, let's see if we can get this guy leveled up just a little bit by clearing an area with him quick and see if uh, maybe he can handle himself in a fight. Steve, get in there and show us your stuff. Let's, uh, let's burn it for a little bit here. Alright, Commander, now with launch of a three full fleet, we should consider investing in the trouble bio readings coming from Nutera. Where is Nutera? Right there. This is Nutera? No. No, where's Nutera? Oh, it's here. It's the capital of the New Terra Federation. Return home. Oh boy. 250 materials, 125 dark matter, and 25 crew, okay? All right, let's go investigate the situation here, but we'll do that as soon as our guy is done clearing out that room here. And then while we're there, we'll stop by and grab that dark, that uh, materials there, and maybe swing past here if we don't get into a fight when we get to the, the Terra Federation, okay. So that's, we got, our, we got our, our plan laid out for us. We'll hit here, swing from here over to here, and then uh, from there to there, and then there to there. And that'll be our loop. That'll be our loop. Oh, this guy's going someplace. He's going to the Gemming. Do we have a thing at Gemming? That's right there. They're sending a second fleet over? Oh, they know we're, they know we're coming. They know we're coming. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we'll have to keep an eye on that situation as it develops here. Let's let it go for another day here. What's gonna happen here? Okay, so signal for oh man, the okay, show location. Yeah, what's going on here now? So they got two ships there now? Oh boy. Now that's one thing we won't walk away from, I think. Uh not too easily, anyways. Plus our our, our engineering officer's only level one, so can't mess around too much. Alright, how's this coming along, buddy? One day remaining. Okay, we'll let you work. Get back to work. Encounter some kind of creature blocking our way. It won't let us continue. What should we do? Clear it, man. This is your job. Oh man, look at that mustache. Fantastic. Okay, so let's 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 send you some backup though. Have the whole crew here for you. 
Uh, heal all. Yeah, do it. Alright, so first things first, we'll inflict some confused on this guy. We don't know how he synergizes with everybody else here just yet. Oh, he resisted it. Okay. Well, blind is always a good thing. Let's try that. Blinded. Okay. This is the same as sensors offline as far as the uh, vision there. Ooh, wow. That wasn't so bad. He's shocked. Two people shocked. He evaded it. That's okay. Just have to make do. Haha, too fast for ya. Alright, what are we gonna do? Ex exploits, uh, exploits blinded. There we go. Ghost Pepper. Inflicts Ghost Pepper 1. Nice. Turns into ash, basically. Holy cow. Well done, buddy. Alright, you've, uh, you've shown us what you got there. I appreciate that. Let's let you finish up the, uh, exploration there. And, uh,. All right, clear out 72 materials found. That's how we want to do with it. Let's go with a materials multiplier, I think, there now. Ship repair rate, what does this do? Increases the repair rate of ships docked at LCN 6. Oh, that's nice. So as things are docked, they repair. That way we don't have to like spend money to do it. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's uh, construct the room. First of all here, let's get the materials multiplier. Yeah, let's get that going. All right, three days, fine. That's actually one trip over. So we, it'll, by the time we get over to the where we're going, It'll be, it'll be set. Okay, so, plan is the uh, outpost here, Terran, a new Terra, and then outpost here, and then we'll decide what we want to do about this up here. And let's see, this has got 150 there too. We might want to swing past and grab both of those. All right, let's send the fleet. New fleet, here we go. First time we've taken the full force out with everybody. Our, our dinky little knight here, he'll have to prove himself still. Uh, these guys do need to repair it up. 32. All right, let's do it. And uh, let's give ourselves the best effort here. We, if we're going back to New Terra, we want to go back in style. Let's go take a look. I'm... Yep, transfer it. And we'll leave. All right, I'm a little concerned to find out how, what shape our planet is in here. We're going. All right. And materials multipliers online. Acknowledged. Continue on here. Oh, we got a bombardment going on. Yep, we gotta get back there soon. All right, so maybe we don't want to waste too much time. Uh, starting our approach now. Okay, let's see what we got. T minus 15 seconds. 14. Arriving now. Commander, our worst fears have been validated. The new Terra has been overrun by the cruel. A mysterious emulsion seems to have caked over the entire planet. The planet itself seems to spawn some kind of cruel vessel never seen before. Oh my god. Should we engage it or return to Halcyon 6? I think we're ready for a fight. Oh, let's, let's take it on here. Let's do it. Ah, man, I'm a little nervous about this. Take it on. Alright, don't back down from a fight ever. Oof. Okay. 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 Alright, this guy's the weakest of the three. Um... So I'm guessing it's lined up just how we are, basically, based on the health of everything else here. Uh, no, maybe not. All right, we'll start how we always start. Sets us offline. Choke on that, guys. Oh man, only one of them got a hit. Sorry, man. Oh, we know which one to attack now, though. Sets us offline, buddy, over here. All right. Oh, you don't feel so good. Oh, sets us offline. Ooh, really scratch. Okay, it didn't do any damage. Resisted, that's good. Alright, so, um... Inflicts a hull breach. Let's do that. Too fast for you. Nice. And exploits the hull breach. I think we should go with that. Or do we want to speed here first? The hull breach will bit around here, actually. Let's do speed. Let's see how this works with three guys now. This might work quite well now with three people. Yeah, of course that'll help for sure. All right, so, um, let's not worry about the. Let's do the engines down on this guy here. Make sure he doesn't get another move. Nice. And then he can exploit engines down, and it takes care of him. Awesome. Alright, so it should be time to do our, our uh, oh, not quite the upload virus time again here yet. 
Anybody healing yet? Not really. I guess we'll just do this. This is going to be kind of a puny shot. Who do we want to go after next? Uh, we don't know if we've seen this kind of ship before. Let's go after this ship for first. All right, next. Uh, let's do sabotage on this guy. Get him. Oh, he evaded it. Shoot. At least we got that out of our system. All right. Well. That's all we can really do that makes sense. And next we can go... Uh, this does do a lot of damage, but it does better, um... It does a hull breach, which is good. So let's do that. Alright, so he's got the uh, hull breached. Let's try engines down on him, too. Nice. Oh, he's hit! Oh boy, he's in trouble, actually. I think it's a cauterized hull situation now. Um... I'm tempted to just go with the hull breach here again. It does a lot of damage, but makes us vulnerable though. But we could actually take some damage. They don't want to try to go after us. Now we're vulnerable, yeah. Did a lot of damage to him though. And then uh, we'll cauterize him next turn actually. Let's take care of this guy now while the uh, hull breach is still in effect. Or we want to let the hull breach work for a minute. Let's actually do that. We still have the speed going here. Let's do that. Let's cauterize the hull for this guy here quick. Bring him back a little bit from the brink. Yeah, it brings him back to full. Nice. And then, uh, anybody engines down? Oh, he's got that. Let's go with it. Go with it. Nice. And, um, let's do, uh, another sabotage. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's 304. Okay, we need to do a little more damage to him still. So let's go send, let's go to the, let's do the harass here quick. Alright, alright. That should do it. Now this should take care of him then. Oh man, just about. Not quite. Uh, we just need a little bit of a... Just any kind of shot on him might do it. Uh, okay. Let's just go with this, then. Alright, one remains. Doing pretty good, guys. Good team. team. Good teamwork here. Resisted it. Shoot. Alright, time for some sensors offline action. There we go. All right, hull breach. I think what we need is this guy to have something that exploits hull breach, is what we need next. Um, let's exploit sensors offline though, which is still, still very good. Any healing? Nope, no. let's do quick and then. Yeah. I like it, I like the speed for sure. He's still hull breached. Um, let's try and shipping disabled on him. Oh, that's nice. That's actually really, really nice. Okay, so next. We'll sabotage action. Get him all the statuses. Followed by exploiting the hull breach. Nice. In a second turn, might as well try to heal him up a little bit. Ship's still disabled, so we don't have to worry about him too much. Uh, let's get the hull breach back on him again. Resisted it, that's fine. It's not gonna last that long. Uh, sabotage is gonna do its thing. Let's just try our strongest attack, which is uh, harass here. Our strongest low risk attack, anyways. There we go. And uh, one more time for good measure. Oh, come on. Okay, sabotage will actually probably take him out next turn here. Yeah, I would say so. But we won't let him get to that, actually. A little bit of action. Good work, team. Good work. Not too much worse for the wear, actually, too. Sir, during the course of the battle, we were able to pick up a faint signal from one of our capital moons, Arrestus. It's specifically coming from a Hellbore mine at coordinate 1GHQ12. It might be that survivors are holed up there. Let's fly to that moon. Um, Sir, I've been promoted. Yes, train. Okay, what do we got? We got ramming speed, exploits engines down, may cause breach on self. Ugh. All right, this is a lot of damage though. Broadside, 
inflicts a hull breach. We have something that does that already. Uh, or drone repair heal. Okay, two heal. This is over heal over time. Hmm, do we want two heals? It might be nice to have two guys that can heal, to be honest with you. Based on what we went through last time. Having another guy that could cause hull breach at risk of self doesn't sound like a great idea. Even though it does a lot of damage. This sounds like a great thing, but... Yeah, I think we're going to heal. Alright, let's do the heal or repair drone overdrive here. Oh, oh, we have to get to, we have to get through another battle to get to the moon here. Okay, great. That's fine with me. I don't mind. We're ready for it. There you go. All right, so this time this guy went offline. This guy's got nine, ten. This guy's got fourteen hundred. This guy's got the. Uh, oh man, we we should probably take this guy out first just because he's gonna get dead the fastest. But this guy's sensors went offline. Now we might just be able to take advantage of the uh, the low effect there. All right, let's do that quick here. Let's just do that. It makes more sense to take care of the small guy first, I think. Overreached, okay. Only one person can take advantage of that, though. And he's got heal, too. Okay, that, that might be a good reason to take care of him, actually. Take care of the healer first, always. Yeah. Okay, we saw sensors offline on a couple of us. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, flick, flick the hull breach here. There we go. And then uh, take advantage of the hull breach or do we want to do a quick in here? And let's take a, let's do this too quick in here first. I think that'll help us more for more turns also. That helped for sure. Yeah, I agree. Wonderful. This helped for sure. All right, again, we need something on him that takes care of, uh, takes advantage of the whole breach for sure. That'd help a ton. Uh, exploits engine. Okay, let's do, uh, do a crippling shot on this guy. Resisted it. Yeah. A high resistance, I think, is the deal here. Might be time to heal him up. Um,. Let's heal him up a little bit here. All right, he's gonna heal over time here. Meanwhile, uh, he's just gonna take advantage of the hull breach for a little bit. 117, okay, all right. Let's inflict some vulnerability. Not the vulnerability, it's gonna inflict sabotage rather, sorry. And that'll do damage over time as well. All right, let's inflict the hull, another hull breach on him. Evaded it, man, okay, all right. Oof, he's in a bad way. All right, I think we're gonna cauterize hull next turn we get. Um, Try that. Engine's down. Okay, that's a good thing. Okay, nice evasion. Very nice. Other evasion. Fantastic. All right, cauterized gentleman here. Nice. And it is time to exploit that engine's down and take him out. Uh, and actually, we might be able to take him out next turn here, but I just want to be sure about that. Oh, you know what we should do probably is take this guy out with the sensors offline here right now. It's likely that this guy will get knocked out next turn. Okay, I know, I know he's got a sliver of health left, but we should probably take advantage of the sensors offline all we can. Uh, so let's get him. He evaded, of course. Great. All right. Take care of this guy then. Now, back to basics here. Okay, let's go with uh, a little bit of vulnerability on this guy. Vulnerability on himself. I'll breach on that guy. All right. Flesh meld healing. You jerk. That was a big healing too. I maybe didn't do that much. See a tribal ship disabled there. How about that? 
fills the holes in the ships and heals over time. Yeah, we have to stop that from happening. Here we go. We'll find a way to counteract that. Somehow. Alright, let's uh take care of that sensor off the line here. Wow, that's a big one. Almost 300. Oh, right, actually, 259. That's almost. I guess that's almost 300. We're getting there. Now let's do a help reach on him again. A little bit of damage. That's not that bad. Not that bad. All right, time for another quick end, I think. Oh, it's still, still charging. Never mind. Uh, let's hit the hull breach then. Man, this guy's fast, apparently. We could change that. All right, engine's down. Slow him down a little bit, and he's gonna take advantage of that. Man, this guy's got so much, so much health. He's had some epic battles so far. There we go. Now we're ready for some speed. This is where we kick it into overtime. All right. Oh, sense of flying. You jerks. You jerks. Course. All right, let's take advantage of our speed here. Uh, ooh, he's still got sensors offline, though, doesn't he? Mm, maybe we should take a little advantage of that quick here. Let's take advantage of it while we can. Yeah. Exploit those vulnerabilities when they have them. All right, and then we'll take care of this hull breach here. Okay. I'll make a new one. You fix the hull breach, we'll make our own holes. Don't worry about that. There's plenty more where that came from. Engines down. Keep this guy on the ropes. Resisted. Okay. Not, not quite time to cauterize yet, I think. We'll save that for right now. He also has the heal down here, too. We can use that next turn, maybe. Gas cannon. Shoot. Okay, yeah, it's time to heal again. Uh, let's get the engines offline of this guy if we can. There we go. And I'd love to take advantage of that right now, but I think we gotta heal ourselves. Not that. Get those repair drones out there. Heal up a little bit. That'll help for sure. Healing over. I think it was 300 over a couple turns with the what the original thing said. All right, let's get a little sabotage out of this. Let's see if we can get this guy's sensors up lines again. Oh, we're both resisted. Shoot. All right, this, could take, this takes advantage of engines down. Not bad, not bad. Very good, very good, very good, guys. He's back to normal shape here. This is actually doing kind of bad. Maybe we should heal you up. We're not losing anybody today. No, sir. All right, we're ready for this again. Um, I think we want to burn it just yet. This is a good attack. So let's do a uh, harass on him. Oh, man, he faded it. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Oh, flesh meld. Let's see if we can take him out, buddy. There you go. All right, now we're back at it. Okay, here. A taste of that. And a uh, little ship disable action on you. There you go, you aren't gonna hurt anybody today. A little speed while you're disabled. We're gonna get a lot of attacks in a row here now, I think, with him disabled. For another couple turns here. Uh, engines down. Take advantage of that. Nice. Take advantage of the hull breach. 
Nice. Add in another hole breach. No, can't do it. Okay. Uh, let's add another engines down, actually. Oh, wow, we're back for more sabotage then, too. Jeez, I love the speed, actually. Let's do a sensor stuff line, even. Wow. And a hole breach? All the statuses, buddy. All the statuses. You're not getting out of this one at all. Sorry, friend. Not your day. Not your day, sir. All right, let's check for survivors. Sir, more vessels are coming our way. We don't have long until they arrive. Good news is we received a message from Orestes Dorestes. A quick details, confirm survivors, part of a mining crew. They're pre prepared for a launch shuttle and giving away their position. I think we have a chance uh, and no, oh, if they're preparing a launch and I'll give, give, give away their position if we're thinking of having a chance to save them. Okay, so um, we got to save them, right? Uh, but sir, we have a situation here. Three large alien vessels are between us and the moon. We're going to have to fight through. Or else, if we decide now, we can get out of here in one piece. You know, we're not doing too badly. All things considered here. This will be, be quite the fight, though. This will be quite the fight. You know what? We're not going to leave any man behind. All right, so I think I'm going to wrap it up here because we're already running long running long but uh we're gonna wrap it up here and then come back next time to take care of this last part actually we'll promote our our, our captains at the beginning of next episode so thank you guys for watching we'll be back for the exciting conclusion of this cruel battle next time have a good night